Captain's Courageous was the book I was reading when I got it, when I got what reading was. Um, I remember finishing the book, closing it, and being overcome with this sense of sadness. Um, I didn't know what that meant, it was depression. Um, because I was leaving this world that I had completely and totally surrendered myself to, and I was going to miss those characters, and I was going to miss that adventure. To this very day, when I'm reading my fiction, I slow down the last few chapters trying to forestall that inevitable sense of depression that I know is going to, to beset me because I'm, I'm leaving a world that I hope bought into. I think we know. about 
how we deal with loss in the society because it's we've created, we've raised a generation of kids who everybody gets a medal simply for participating. They're not really prepared for disappointment, this generation. So we need to give them the skills that they're absolutely inevitably going to need in order to become successful human beings. They have to learn how to deal with losses small as well as large. You wish it. Mika Mouse trembled under her blanket. A storm boomed outside her window. Rain crashed against the glass. Rain rattled the shutters. More than anything else, Mika was afraid of storms. A year before, a powerful hurricane had destroyed her home. I'm scared, Papa, she said. We are safe, Mika. This storm will pass soon, said Papa. Would you like me to read you a story? I know just the one to help you feel better. Mika loved books, and Papa's gentle voice soon did away that made her forget all about the thunder. Papa opened the book and began. Long Long ago, before there were words, animals roamed in bountiful herds. Little rhinoceros lived happy and free, exploring mountains and meadows, rivers and trees. His world was delightful and chock full of magic until out of the blue, that magic turned to tragedy. Uh, when, when we lived on, on base, uh, when I was a kid growing up, I, I was born in Germany, we did another children here when I was in the third and the fourth grade. And, uh, you know, at that time, all television was in German. So for entertainment, we had Armed Forces Radio Network, and we had comic books. And every kid had a cardboard box with all those comic books in it. And on Saturday mornings, that was the, the activity. You would go from, from apartment block to apartment block, up and down the stairwells, these four-story buildings, trading comic books. Because a comic book that you hadn't read was a new comic book to you. <laughs> when everything has to come over from the States, it, you know, it, it, you don't always get the, the latest, the up-to-date, most up-to-date, most current releases, but um, there was a continual flow of, of comic books coming from the States, and there was an, an economy that existed um, <laughs> in the population of, of kids. Um, you know, a, 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 a Marvel was worth more than a DC. Um, <laughs> right? um, oh, Disney thinks so. <laughs>
then that's your reality. And these kids, I, I don't understand what it is, but they have an affinity for the technology, and this is the world they're growing up in. So what makes the best of both worlds? Balance. Best Balance is what makes the best of both worlds. Balance is what makes the best of both worlds. Right? Yeah. It's why reading Rainbow was so important to me at, on television, because there's, I believe that all we need is education. True. The question is, what are we teaching? <coughs> I've always wanted reading Rainbow to be there as balance, as some, as an alternative to all of the mindless drivel. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I we featured one book per episode of Reading Rainbow. We had 149 episodes, plus there were two to three review books. So we, we really featured hundreds of books, but I never wanted to take the spot of an author with a featured book while we were in production. Now, it's categories of literature that we marry with our video field trips. And I own the company, so I know what I want. <laughs>